Welcome to Introduction to Java Programming by Y. Daniel Yang. Chapter 2 Elementary Programming Problem number 1 Write a program that prompts the user to enter a value in Celsius, converts the value to Fahrenheit, and displays the result. The formula for converting Celsius to Fahrenheit is as follows. F as in Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 times C for Celsius plus 32. So, before starting, the first thing we need to know is that Java comes in with built-in libraries and objects. Libraries are classes that contain functions which developers can benefit from while developing their Java programs. So the Java library that I want to benefit from for this exercise is called Scanner. And in order to be able to use this Scanner library in my Java program, I'm gonna need to first tell the system that I want to import this Java library into my program. And I achieve this by using, by writing first the import keyword. After that, I write the name of the package that I want to import this class from. So java.util. I can see the, here that this package contains various libraries. But I'm going to import a specific class from this package. So import java.util.scanner and now I can use this library in my Java program. So to first initialize a Java object, a scanner object in my program, I'm going to start by typing the name of this object, scanner, and I want to reference this object so I'll name my reference as input after that I use the keyword new saying I want to initialize a new scanner object and reference it using a reference called input and I want to allow this object to read from inside my system so system dot in so using this scanner object and allowing this object to read from inside my system is my way of allowing the user to enter a value so let me comment here scanner reference to gather input from the user let me show you first how this scanner works before we move on so first I'm gonna print enter a value in my console it's from here okay double quotes enter a value And I'm gonna print my inputted value. So input, and I'm gonna call what's called a function from this scanner class. A function is a name followed by parentheses. Let me run it now. Enter value hello. So hello. If I want to enter a number, let's say 6, there we go. <clears throat> and it's important to know that at the end of every Java program that uses scanner, it's important to close the scanner by naming the reference and calling a function called close from the scanner library so closing the scanner 
that's a way of telling the system that I no longer need this scanner and it's also something important and shouldn't be forgotten so after knowing how to use scanner okay so let me print here enter the value in celsius first let me comment here prompting the user to enter a value in celsius so let me run now enter a value in celsius okay 6.8 6.8 let me write a statement here the value of celsius is space and since i'm printing a value a value that's not included in the statement i'm using the plus sign which is referred to as a concatenation operator which, which takes the value and uh, not, uh, not just concatenates that joins this value with this statement so that all this statement represents a single value and this single value is printed so when I run it, 6.7, the value of Celsius is 6.7. Okay, but this is not enough. I'm going to need something that stores my entered value in order to use my value to compute another value. So I'm going to use something called a variable. A variable is something that corresponds to memory location, memory location of data so that this data won't be lost and can be used later on. Let me start by deploying a new variable. A variable consists of a data type. So I want my variable to be to represent a decimal number so this data type double represents a decimal number after the data type a variable has a name so I want to name my variable as Celsius and let me comment this double variable to carry input from the user okay so my variable also consists of a value so I want the value of my variable or I want the variable stored in my variable to be the value that I input into my system so celsius equal equal is also which is referred to as an assignment operator equal input dot next let me comment this out first or let me go back and replace this with the value of Celsius. Now I have an error here. Let me first run it to see if it displays incompatible types. String cannot be converted to double. Okay, so my error message statement stated what my error is. Okay, so input dot next takes my value as a string a string is also a type data type 
as you can see here, which holds values that are uh, surrounded by double quotes. So if I say string word and I assign word to my value, you see the error is gone. Let me replace this with word. Now if I run it, enter value in Celsius, hello, value of Celsius. Let me enter a number so that we won't get lost, 6.8. The value of Celsius is 6.8. So 6.8 is taken like that. Word, as if word is equal to, surrounded by quotes, 6.8. That's the problem. So let me go back to where I was. How can I fix that? There's another function that's available in the scanner class or the scanner library, which is called dot next double. It also signify, it also indicates here that this function returns a double value or a decimal number. So next double. Now the error is gone, and if I run it, enter the value in Celsius, 6.9, the value of Celsius is 6.1. Problem solved. So now that I have my value of Celsius, I'm going to use this value to compute the value of Fahrenheit. So for that I'm gonna deploy another another double variable call it Fahrenheit and comment it as double variable to be computed or double variable that stores the computed value in Fahrenheit. Census. For this temperature. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Alright, so now that I have the value of Celsius, I'm gonna move on to compute to compute the value of Fahrenheit. So the formula of Fahrenheit, starting with the variable name, assignment operator, and the formula 9 over 5 times the value of Celsius plus 32. Now the info message here is that integer division and floating point context. So I explained in my last video or in the last problem of chapter one that an integer that's divided by another integer results in an integer based on what the system understands so if i want this small operation to result in a double or a decimal number I have to convert one of these two integers into a decimal number. 
but I just adding dot zero. Okay, so now based on the value of Celsius, I now have the value of Fahrenheit. So now I can display the result. Displaying the result. This out. Starting with the value of Celsius. C. C is followed by the value of Fahrenheit. I forgot the plus sign here. Now, if I run it, 4.9 Celsius is 40.82 Fahrenheit. Yeah, and like that, we would have written a program that prompts the user to enter a value in Celsius, converts this value to Fahrenheit and displays the result. Let me run it one more time. 5.6 It read the value of Celsius. Save this value to the variable Celsius. Use this value to produce a new value and save this new value to the variable Fahrenheit. And finally, print this new value in the console. And of course, at the end, closing the scanner object since I'm done with it.